we were in a local cleaners picking up our cleaning and we saw a sign that said Nork discount 15% or something like that. We said, what's that? There was a notice in my condo building saying there was a gathering of uh, people 65 and older. And then right away I said to my husband, isn't that discrimination? <laughs> Sometimes you want to talk to people, but you're hesitant to just grab someone. But by wearing this, it's easy because people just stop and say, what is that? What, what does that mean? And of course, it's a natural occurring retirement community. A NORC is a geographic designation that simply means a place. It could be a street, a building, a neighborhood with a higher concentration of older adults than the general population. It's really just what the words say. It's a naturally occurring retirement community. Our goal is to help people achieve independence by living in their own homes and apartments for as long as they want. We've been operating the program for 10 exciting years. It's a wonderful milestone. The idea that we're staying at home, that we know that we're going to meet new people all the time, and uh, we stay active and young. Because when you're older, you tend to, unless there's motivation, you tend to isolate. I'm 97 years old. I'm in good health. And NARC helps me with their interest in me. They're one of us. I'm not what you call a table hopper or looking for anyone special except friendship, somebody to talk to that remembers the old days. It, it's nice to know that you can go somewhere where you'll see a familiar face, somebody that knows you and that can help you. And uh, the card is important too. It's a nice to get a little discount. For some of our members, the NORC has been described as a lifesaver. I had, for the past two years, been basically just living in my condo part-time and uh, spending a great deal of time with my daughter who lived down in the country. And my daughter, you know, she has her own life. And, and I'm sitting down there and I'm thinking, I am so lonely and I am so drained inside and I just had lost my desire to want to live. My son came down with a bunch of mail for me. He gives me this calendar, and it was from the NARC. I sat there, and I was just dumbfounded because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> At that point, I was thinking they were looking for me. <laughs> from then on, it was just like my whole life had meaning. One of our guiding principles is the concept of empowerment. We view what we do as a partnership between our constituents and staff. We got a call and we were asked if we would be on a steering committee and we would uh, get together with phone conferences with a couple of the staff members and then the uh, steering committee and we would plan activities. We've had so many wonderful outings, not only to restaurants, but we've had outings where we actually boarded a bus and, you know, went for lunch, enjoyed a museum, or, you know, there's been so many I couldn't even begin to count them. I just finished a dance program, and it was such fun. Learned everything but the tango. If you're older and you can't drive anymore, a taxi will bring you to the activities for Nork and take you back home at absolutely no charge at all. As far as I know, there's never been anybody that wanted to go someplace and couldn't find a ride. It's amazing, the programs they have. It's all so encouraging. It's keeping me healthy, keeping me busy, <laughs> out of trouble. And then there's another reason to belong to NORC that's completely different, because they have volunteers. Our volunteers are awesome. We background screen and train them. They're individuals of all ages that have a desire to make the lives of older adults a bit more comfortable. I live in an apartment at Covenant Place, and there's always something. I had a weather radio that would not work right, so I called NORC and they have a special department for people who need someone to come and help figure out what's wrong with a gadget that isn't working. I've had people come and do my computers whenever I, and I'm bad on, I mean, I don't know what I do to my computers, but they always go wrong. Somebody said, oh, you better get the volunteers to come rake your yard. Well, we have an acre of trees and lawn. These five volunteers came out. They went to work. It was unbelievable, and they stayed an hour and a half. 
They did not take money. As we age, we lose some of those physical abilities that we took for granted when we were younger. We worked with several partners to provide safety adaptations to address hazardous areas of members' homes, most notably the bathroom, where most falls occur. If we can intervene and provide those safety adaptations and an emergency response system, we immediately reduce the risk of falls, which is the leading cause of older adult hospitalization and worse. You know, probably one of the most wonderful things the St. Louis NARC has done for me is this life fall. After having a very serious fall in the bathroom and I'm lucky enough to have this and feel secure. A percentage of our budget derives from Missouri general revenue and each year I typically go to Jeff City to testify before the House and Senate Appropriations Committees requesting continued funding. Most recently, Ann Richards accompanied me to Jeff City to testify. I got up at the first meeting and all of a sudden I wasn't shy anymore and I loved doing it. I was only sorry when it stopped. One senator asked, tell me, I've got a grandmother that's very old. Do you think I should put her in a nursing home? I said, just ask her. For me, the St. Louis NORC program brings individual choice to people in our service area. It's not a cookie cutter approach and we hope there's something to entice everyone. We have a fabulous team of professionals that have created a remarkable program that has touched the lives of so many of our members. We know that we have, with our members' assistance, created a community of neighbors that care about each other. We know relationships have been born and nurtured that might never have happened. My greatest hope on the micro level is that our program continues to positively impact our residents' lives. On the macro level, I hope the government recognizes the value, both human and economic, of developing as many aging in place programs as possible. That would certainly help us sustain our program. But just as important, it would mean that we have achieved not just a neighborhood program touching over a thousand lives, but created a path for all of us around the state to age with dignity and grace in the way we choose. Well, you know, it's true of the older people. They do sit, and when you sit, you get older and you die. And you know, I want to make a hundred at least. You know, outside of loving one another, we need to be needed. And we feel that we get far more out of Nork than Nork gets out of us. I visualize myself here and I laugh when I think about assisted living because that was just not the place for me. I needed to be with more people and here I have had that opportunity. It's a life again and it's wonderful.